Let's now look at the quotient property. And the quotient property is like the product property, except it uses a division. So if we have the nth root of a over the nth root of b, this is the same as the nth root of a over b. And the general rule is whichever form you start in, you're usually going to convert it to the other form before you finish the problem. And so let's look at a straightforward example. Let's suppose we have the square root of 24 over 49. Well, let's break this up into the square root of 24 over the square root of 49. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 24 is 4 times 6, so 2 comes out. And a 6 stays in because we have a perfect square, and 2 and 3 are not. So there's the product property in use. Let's also look at, suppose we have the cube root of 5p over 27. This becomes the cube root of 5p over the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. And the cube root of 5p is simplified, so my answer is the cube root of 5p over 3. And this works for any n. As long as they're the same, you get this same idea out of it. Well, it also works the other way. Suppose we have the square root of 45 y to the fifth over the square root of 5y. Well, since they're both square roots, we can combine them to be 45y to the fifth over 5y. We can reduce our fraction. So we get a 1 on the bottom and a 9y to the fourth on top. And again, I should have specified, but we're, we're always assuming that our variables from this point on are greater than or equal to 0. So when I take the square root of y, I don't need the absolute values. So the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y to the fourth is y squared. The square root of 1 is 1, and anything over 1 stays as whatever it already is. To look at one final problem, suppose we have the cube root of 310x to the fourth y squared, and we're going to divide that by the cube root of minus 5 x to the minus 2 y to the fifth. And so it's actually 320. Let's make sure we get the numbers right. So it's 320 x to the fourth y squared over all this. So this becomes a single cube root of 320 x to the fourth y squared over minus 5 x to the minus 2 y to the fifth. And we simplify. 320 divided by negative 5 is negative 64. x to the fourth over x to the minus 2 is x to the sixth on top. y squared over y to the fifth is y cubed on bottom. Now we can break this up again. And again, we're assuming our variables are greater than or equal to 0, in the case of y greater than 0. So this cube root of minus 64 is minus 4. Cube root of x to the sixth is x squared, and the cube root of y cubed is y. And here is our answer. And so the quotient rule works like the product rule, except you remember you're doing division instead of multiplication.